Hello everyone. In the last session, we learned how to create a network topology with the help of NS2 simulator. So in today's session, we will discuss how to create a connection between two nodes and how to transfer the traffic from one end to the another end. So here in the screen, you can see the older one code which we have done to create the network topology. So we will make the necessary changes in this particular code to establish the connection between two nodes and to transfer the traffic from one node to the another node. Okay. So for that, we need to start our writing after creating the node because after uh, creating the topology, we can be able to create the or establish the connection between different different nodes and after that we can be able to generate the traffic right so after establishing or after creating this topology now our aim is to create a tcp connection between two different nodes okay so for establishing the tcp connection as we know whenever two entities want to communicate with each other at that time they require one third entity let's say process in this scenario right so over here we will first of all provide one agent or you can say one process so that with the help of that process we can establish the connection between two nodes okay so for that purpose we required one variable so over here for the tcp connection I am taking variable name as a TCP and uh, as we are uh, pro uh, generating a process so over here we will assign uh, or we will say that this is the agent okay and the type of agent is TCP okay so right now we have just said that there is one variable TCP which is, which is a one kind of agent and type of that agent is a TCP now as we know TCP is a classful protocol so over here we will provide a class so to set that class we required we will access this thing with the help of variables so to access the values or uh, to provide the values to the particular variable we'll use dollar sign okay so over here we will use dollar tcp then space then set class and over here we are going to assign the class that is say two okay so now what we need to do is we just want to assign this particular agent to a particular node from which we are we want to transfer any packet right so for that we need to say that in this simulation so for representing the simulation we will use over here the dollar ns variable so in this simulation what we need to do is we just need to attach the agent okay so a attach agent now to whom we want to attach this agent so right now we want to assign this agent to dollar n0 and which agent we are talking about so that is the tcp so over here we will write dollar tcp okay so right now we have just said that n0 node is having one agent that is the tcp agent that's it we have not established the connection yet right because for establishing the connection there should be two processes at both the end right so right now we have only provided the agent to n0 now if we want to transfer the packet from n0 to n3 so we required one agent at n3 also okay if both the parties are having their own mobile phone then and only they, they can communicate with each other right so over here we should also provide the agent to each and every node so for providing the agent to n3 we will first of all create the variable let's say the name of that variable is sync and this is again a type of agent okay so which type of agent it is so it is a tcp sync type of agent why tcp sync because as we know that n0 is uh, we have generated uh, or established the agent for n0 node already okay so that is our source part so now we require one agent at the destination part so that destination part will provide the synchronization process also so that is why we are establishing the tcp sync agent okay so after 
establishing the a variable which is a tcp sync type now we will attach that agent to node so for that we should write dollar ns attach agent dollar n3 and dollar sync okay so now this node node n0 and n3 both are having their own agents so now to establish the connection we can write like that dollar ns connect dollar tcp dollar sync okay so it means we are uh, saying to establish the connection between n0 and n3 okay as tcp is the agent of which is attached with n0 node and sync is the agent which is attached with n3 node okay so here we have established the connection now the second step is to uh, generate the traffic so for tcp connection we are going to generate ftp traffic so for pro, uh, for that we have taken one variable that is ftp variable and now we will convert this variable as a traffic so for that we need to write new application because it is one kind of application this is traffic also and one kind of application also because ftp stands for file transfer protocol right so that is one kind of application also to transfer the files so this application is type of ftp okay and where we want to attach this as we have already conveyed that the n0 is our source node so we want to attach this ftp at the tcp agent right so for that we need to write dollar ftp attach agent dollar tcp okay so now we have created the traffic and we have attached that traffic at tcp that means we have created that traffic at the source end okay but we have not started to transfer that traffic from one end to the another end but before transferring that packets we just want to provide some characteristics to this packets okay so for that we need to uh, use this ftp variable and we can with the help of set set command or uh, set attribute we can assign different different types of characteristic let's say first of all we will uh, decide the type of this packet that is the ftp then we will assign that uh, packet size so over here we will set packet size let's say the size of packet is a thousand byte okay then we can also uh, set the rate of transferring the packet let's say that rate is one mb okay so this is the basic characteristic of that particular traffic so now our traffic is ready now what we need to do is we just want to transfer the tra that traffic from n0 to n3 so for that we need to write dollar ns at 1.0 that means key at 1.0 second what we need to do is we just need to start ftp okay so we are starting to transfer ftp packets at 1.0 second from n0 node okay and at what time we should stop so over here let's say we are stopping this thing at 2 seconds okay so over here i will write at 2.0 dollar ftp stop transferring the packets okay and lastly we have already called the finish procedure but over here whatever the packets are going to transfer that is between 1 to 2 seconds right so we cannot call our finish procedure before that so over here we need to change the timing for the finish procedure let's say we will call this procedure at 5 seconds okay so these are the necessary changes to transfer the packet uh, in tcp connection so we will now simply save this file okay and i just simply close this and i will open my terminal and in terminal we will write a command to just run this file that is nsprac1.tcl enter okay so whenever you will enter this so there will be pop-up will occur and this is your nam file okay so you can see this topology this is already made in our uh, previous session so we will start this okay so here you can see the timing is that okay so whenever this time reach to 1.0 second 
at that time you will be able to see some packets which is traveling from 0 to 3 okay so uh, that will show that uh, we have successfully uh, generated the traffic and we have uh, successfully established the connection between the two nodes so right now the second is 1.0 and you can see over here some packets are traveling from node 0 to node 3 okay and as we have established the tcp connection we know that tcp connection is, uh, tcp protocol is more concerned regarding the acknowledgement also whether the packet is reached or not right so over here you are able to see that this uh, node 3 is also providing acknowledgement to node 0 okay so over here at 2.0 second you can see this packets are stopped so the, uh, thus in this session we learn how to establish the tcp connection between two nodes and how to generate the traffic and how to transfer that traffic from one node to the another node right so in the next session we will understand how to generate the udp connection and how to transfer the UD, udp traffic from one end to the another end thank you